We are looking at uh, a model of the respiratory system and uh, we'll use this model uh, to uh, learn about the anatomical structures of the system. And uh, as we do that, we need to uh, remember that uh, the major function of the system is to provide all the cells in the body with oxygen to carry on the process of aerobic cell respiration. And uh, during that process, the cells will uh, produce uh, carbon dioxide and the system will allow us to get rid of the carbon dioxide. So the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide between the blood and the air is the major function of the respiratory system. And when uh, we uh, take a look at the anatomy of the system, we uh, uh, we're going to start with, uh, with the nose. And uh, the opening to the outside in the nose are known as the external nerves or nostrils. And uh, the air from there will go into the nasal cavity or the nasal passages. And in the nasal cavity and the nasal passages, we see three bones. These are known as the turbinate bones. So uh, we have the inferior, the middle, and the superior kanchi. Associated with the nasal passages, we also see two of the paranasal sinuses. So uh, we have uh, the frontal sinus in the frontal bone, and we also have the sphenoid sinus associated with the sphenoid bone. The air then will pass down into the pharynx, and the pharynx is divided into three areas, nasopharynx, oropharynx, and laryngeopharynx. Then the air will pass down to the larynx. This is this whole area in here is basically the larynx. Uh, the larynx uh, commonly is known as the voice box. And the voice box is made up of uh, cartilages. And some of the cartilages shown in here are in blue color. So that's the uh, thyroid cartilage or what's known as Adam's apple. Below it is the cricoid cartilage. And then this is the epiglottis, which moves during eating to close the opening to the larynx. The opening to the larynx is labeled number four in here, and that is the glottis. And then the other part of the larynx are what is used to be known as the true and false vocal cords. Now they call the top portion of them in here, which used to be the false cords, they call them the vestibular faults. And the lower one here, which are the ones that make the sound, those are known as the vocal faults. The air then will travel down into the trachea. And the trachea is basically a tubular structure supported by rings of hyaline cartilage. The rings are incomplete, which means in, on the dorsal side of the trachea, there are no rings, only on the front and only on the lateral side of the trachea. The trachea then will uh, branch into two branches, known as the primary branchi. Then each bri primary branchi will uh, divide into secondary bronchi and uh, the secondary bronchus will divide into tertiary bronchi and uh, the branching will continue into a smaller structure known as the bronchioles and the bronchioles inside of the lung they form what's known as bronchial tree and uh, the other part of the model in here will uh, show some of the details 
of uh, the branchials so on the top part in here we have what is known as the terminal branchials they lead to the respiratory branchials then the respiratory branchials will lead into the alveolar duct so this is a section of the alveolar duct and attached to the alveolar duct are the rounded structures known as the alveoli the alveoli are the area where the exchange of gases between the air and the lungs and between the blood takes place and that is why this part of the model in here it shows that each alveolus is surrounded by extensive network of capillaries and that's where the exchange of gases take place between these lung capillaries and between the air in the lungs the other part that is important to know about the system is that uh, we use certain muscles for breathing and in this model in here they show the two major type of muscles associated with the breathing so in the lower part in here they show the diaphragm which extends all the way on this area also and basically separates the chest from the abdomen the other muscles they show in here are in between the ribs and these muscles are known as the intercostal muscles so both the intercostal muscles and the diaphragm are important for breathing the other important anatomical structure shown in here is that the lungs are surrounded by membrane which they show it covering the lungs in both sections here on the model the membrane is known as the pleura and uh, there are two kinds of membranes the one that covers the lung which is known as the visceral pleura and the other part of the membrane that will form the lining to the thoracic cavity which is known as the parietal pleura and one of the most common uh, disorders associated with the lung sometimes is inflammation of these membranes and they will cause what is known as pleurisy or pleuritis which is inflammation of the membrane the pleura that surrounds the lungs <music>